Okay, on with the build. And this section is going to be the boom supports and the bottom plate mounting, which, as you know, is going to be pretty straightforward. Your landing gear is going to go through three bolts here. So we're getting down on parts. I've got, I've got several screws um, and whatnot um, to go through yet. Not a whole lot left. Uh, you've got this bag that will be the horizontal fin and uh, attach the boom supports. Be aware of the washers in this kit. There's two tiny ones that will be used to hold the fin on the top of this, okay, on the top of the boom support bracket, as well as the 2.5s that will hold the uh, uh, supports to the bracket, and those black washers will go on there. So in the manual, when you look at this, just be aware to use the right washers in the right places. So as you see, those black washers will be right here. Okay, the tiny little washers in this bag will be on top of the fin with the screws here, etc., uh, etc. Et now, also, if you remember way back, I talked about this one standoff, and I said I thought it was for the boom supports, and of course it is, and it will go in between the frames here, okay, right here at this location, and then in the bag, the rest of the bags, you have these uh, two long bolts with the uh, fancy washers and the two standoffs that will go on the outside of the frame. Okay, so pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and get, I, I don't need to really show too much here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted. Any little things I run into, I'll talk about, but we'll get this mounted and come back to review. Additionally, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount the bottom plate. And the three screws that I'm going to put in the bottom here, per the manual, I'm going to leave loose right now because when we do our landing gear, we need to get all that lined up and then tighten it up. So I'll talk about that when we get back to. Anyway, so let me get this stuff on and we'll uh, take a look. Okay, real quick, I went ahead and first mounted the fin to the top of the uh, boom support bracket uh, because you can get at the screws here through the fin to tighten this up on the boom when we get to that point. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the standoff and everything mounted into the frame and get the boom supports but I'm gonna lock tighten them but I'm not gonna tighten them just yet then I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the boom and I'm gonna lock tight these screws um, but not tighten them just quite yet and then I'm gonna get everything lined up on the boom and then we'll go ahead and tighten so let me get the stuff on there and we'll talk about it okay so there we have it we've got the uh, struts on on the back again they're loose I don't have them tightened up yet so we can get everything aligned and then back here on the tail, and this is always where it gets difficult getting stuff under the camera. Back here on the tail, again, I don't have it quite clamped down to the boom yet, and I have the screws loose here. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten up the back screws first. Okay, then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to make sure that my fin is level with the helicopter, or the, you know, the, the top of the helicopter. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the clamp screws on the boom. Now I don't know yet if you can tighten them up all the way or whether you should make sure that the clamps evenly. What you don't want is the clamp to be you know, crooked like this so you want to clamp them evenly when I get there. And then finally I will tighten up these screws that hold the boom supports on. Okay, So go ahead and do that and uh, basically that's going to finish up the boom supports. I'll go ahead and tighten this stuff up and see if I uh, noticed anything and talk about it when I come back. But when I come back we're going to take a look at the bottom plate. Okay, it was pretty straightforward. Went on just like I said, tightened up the front, then tightened up these, and then tightened up the clamp, or tightened up the clamp, then tightened up these, and done deal. All right, on to the bottom plate. Now, as I said, there's three screws that go into the motor mount, and those you, we should be getting very low on parts at this point. So those should be with the finishing washers in the bottom, and then the four bolts that came with the landing gear bag and uh, the flat washers. Now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the three screws in the bottom in the motor mount and I'm going to mount this landing gear without the tubes at this point. I just find it easier to do that with these uh, long screws and the washers. And uh, we're going to get that all on the helicopter. I'll let you know if I see anything interesting. I notice these do have, are slotted a little for some adjustment obviously because the motor mount's adjustable. Uh, so depending on the engine will depend on where those go. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this on with the landing gear uh, struts and um, uh, we'll take a look and then basically at that point you'll run these into the landing gear, use your set screws and be done. But let me get it on and we'll come back and review. Okay, so pretty straightforward. What I did is I locked out all the screws and inserted them but didn't tighten them, especially these ones around the engine. Then I went ahead and put the Loctite and put the landing uh, gear on. Uh, once the plate and everything got seated, I went ahead and just tightened everything up piece of cake. 
All right, at this point, all you got to do is insert your uh, skids now into the landing gear, and they go in fairly straightforward and easy. Let's go ahead and get them in. Now, what I like to do on mine is, since these gear do lean forward, I like to bring my gear till it's just a little bit behind behind the bend of the landing gear. That allows some more tail out the back to keep you, when you're setting down on the ground, from possibly touching uh, the tail fin uh, on the ground uh, as well. So it gives a little bit more support in the back. All right, so make sure that they're pointing upright or however you like them. Go ahead and put your set screws in here. You don't really need to use Loctite on these. Just go ahead and put them in and tighten them down. Uh, just enough to make sure this doesn't rotate. What you don't want to do is, is keep wailing on them until they uh, uh, either strip or uh, put a beer can dent in the uh, aluminum tube, thus weakening it. Okay, so it's just enough to keep them from spinning. All right, so that kind of finishes up boom supports and landing gear and bottom plate. And this is getting pretty close to being done. At this point, all I need to do left is uh, put the muffler on and uh, do the, uh, the uh, fuel tube runs. And someone actually in a post asked me, they were waiting to see what my uh, plumbing looked like. So I will do one last follow-up video after this. I'm going to get my plumbing in. I'll just come back and talk about anything else about the helicopter uh, as I'm finishing it up which is pretty much done now, and show you my plumbing, and that's basically gonna do it. Anyway, hope this was all helpful, and enjoy.